When it comes to prime lenses, I usually don't go over the 50 millimeter. I really feel comfortable with the 24 and 35. But I always wanted to try an 85 millimeter. So when the opportunity came, I couldn't say no. In fact, in this case, I got the chance to test not just an amazing lens, but also a full frame camera. First time for me. We are talking today about the 7 Artisans Cinema Lens the Spectrum Series T2.0. I already have the 25 and 50mm of the Vision series for my Fuji cameras and knowing how amazing is the build quality and the image quality, well, I'm here with you now to talk about this new one. If you want to touch a little bit on the technical aspects of the lens, the metal and the optical structure of 9 elements in 8 groups together with the 10 blades that control the aperture make this lens a superb one. But let's be honest, at the end we we'll want to see how is the image quality it produced, right? Well, without further ado, here a little gallery of the photos taken with the 85mm 7 Artisans Spectrum lens and the Sony 7R. I really love the image, how it is rendered, how the bouquet is soft and how the colors are shown, as well as of course the igniting. I really feel like the amount of igniting is perfect for this lens. The lens is massive, but not too heavy to be honest. The focus and aperture ring are both smooth and easy to be used. We are talking about at an 85, so it will shake when you are taking some videos, so you need to keep it in mind. It's a difficult lens to use alone, great for portraits, a little bit difficult for a street, of course, but together with an, the other Spectrum lenses, I feel like it will make a perfect combo for any situation you're shooting, even if you're a photographer or a videographer. I'm really curious to test the other lenses as well now to see how they will perform and if they will perform as well as the 85mm. To who I feel to recommend this lens? Well, as just mentioned, if you take portraits, it's your must go. If you take streets, it can be good if you want to keep a certain distance from your subject. If you are a videographer, well, keep it in mind the difficulties of uh, hand, any handheld that uh, you, you have, but if you are shooting on tripods, well, it's an easy PC. The T2.0 aperture value 
allows you lots of lights to enter in. So even if it's you are in a low light situation, well, you are fully covered. That is all for me for today. If you are interested in any specific test with this lens, please let me know in the comments down below. And remember to subscribe to the channel to keep supporting me. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay click. Bye.